man, here we go. You know these this this series, bro. Listen, buckle in, bro. It's about to get wild. The eye. Field Larner, 23 years old. The four walls of his room have become his stronghold, a safe haven where he can take shelter from the outside world. In tonight's episode, his new life will be threatened by terrible nightmares that will take him to unsuspected limits. Turn off the lights and immerse yourself in this frightful story. Welcome to a new dimension of horror. Welcome to Midnight Scenes. Do -do -do -do. Okay, all right, bro. I had to. I, you know, it, it just it just was in me. You know? I don't know where they, where we going. I don't know where it's about to take us. But it's about to get crazy. I know it is. It was a dark, stormy night. You know what I'm saying? Like every time, every time. Okay, a little winter snow. He's, he's sleeping peacefully, bro. You might want to put your glasses somewhere, bro. I, listen, I got them. I've been there. I done rolled on top of them many a time. You wake up and your arm's looking like this, bro. All right. <laughs> hey, uh, I, no way. Yo, oh, what the hell is that? <gasps> oh, yeah, you need some melatonin, bro. Why did the beginning of that music sound like that 2 Chain song? I'm different. Okay. Uh, damn, nightmares. Oh. Pick up the phone. Uh, okay. Healthy life. Uh, we'll have to wait. What? Okay. Okay. Uh, I've been living in my bedroom for 30 days. Bro, you better go out. Bro, take a shower, dude. I remember the moment I opened the door for the last time. Uh, looking into, looking into the dark hallway, I froze. A sense of intense dread overcame me. Uh, I can only lock the door and hide under the bed sheets. Uh, I haven't gone out since then. Uh, from that day forward, I stopped being Phil, the reliable, well-behaved, hard-working son, and became a parasite in my parents' home. As father likes to remind me, I'm a shame to my family and this community. Okay, okay, I already got... I there are times when I feel like I should try to go out just one more time in case it's all a bad dream. Okay, leave the room. I'm about, I'm about to break. Oh, no, bruh. But it never works. The shadows keep harassing me day and night. Faceless nightmares uh, that invade my mind. Uh, what do they want from me? All right, bro. I know how to. I know how to fix this issue right now. My sanity hangs by a thread. Uh, I'm only able to satisfy my basic needs. Everything else is beyond my brain's capacity. You just woke up, bro. So listen, you can just go go pee. I don't know where, I like to see where you going pee at. Uh, my bladder is going to burst. I hope I have some empty bottles left in the closet. Are you serious right now, dude? If something's keeping you in your bedroom, it's all in your mind, bro. Listen, there's many ways to get out of this. Call, well, you, you, your dad say you, you're the problem. Call your mom up. You know what I'm saying? What, like, what she got to say about this? Mom's, listen, mom will defeat any entity out there, bro. This dude is crazy, bro. You, okay, I don't even want to know what's in there. Poop bucket, it, it told me. Okay, uh, get, get, get you some empty bottles up. This one will do. Like, come on, man, put... Ah, that's better. I'll put the bottle back in the closet. Nasty ass. Like, come on, dude. 
There ain't nothing out there that scary. Bro, put it right there. Two, three, four, five. Five bottles full of full to the brim with pee. I think it's time to throw them in the trash can. What you gonna do about that poop right there, though? Bro, listen, listen, listen. Hold on, hold on. I can't just throw the bottles from up here. I need a bag and a rope to slide them down carefully into the trash can. Okay, um, where do I get that from? Cabinet? Heater? Can I look in a cabinet? Not now, I need to throw the bottle. Okay. Uh, is, there, is there rope in the closet? Alright, I don't know where the rope is. Um, okay, I got... Oh, I got... Oh, I'm gonna use the trash bag? A bag to put the bottles in. Great. Uh, now all I need is rope to slide. Okay, where do I get the rope from? Oh, okay. Open it. Going to the cardboard box. All right, I got keys, a uh, fishing line, a purple wristband, and then an orange, a green wristband. Okay, grab that fishing line. A souvenir from the hunting and fishing ep expeditions with father. Finally, I can put this thing to practical use. I have everything I need. Uh, now let's lower the bottles into the trash can. Sir, why not? You know, this, I'm, 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 I'm finna school this dude right now. I have to lower the bottles carefully inside the bag. And they, oh, oh, okay. So put the put this with that, and then put this with that. Now you can do it. I, I forgot how to play this that fast. But listen, why don't you? Why don't you do? You, man, I'm trying to get to my point. Here we go. Why don't you? If you ever seen like a a, a a prison show, um, get your sheets right. If you can't go out the door, get your sheets. You know what I'm saying, man? You didn't think about the wind, did you? Now they got stuck on a tree. Damn wind. Make a make a ladder out of your sheets, bro, or a, a, a rope. Tie it to the dresser, bro. Now you can get out the house. Uh, pull back. It's finna break. It's finna break. Oh. Oh no. Oh poop! I cut myself with the fishing line. So much blood. Texas Chainsaw Massacre levels of gore. Okay, I don't think it's that it's that bad, bro. It's a minor cut. He didn't pass out. Now somebody knocking on the door. Get your ass up. Oh, it's it's Mamita. Mamita, get up. Look at it. Philip. What was that noise? Is everything all right? Are you hungry, dear? I baked some pancakes for you. With syrup and extra butter. Your favorite. Or you better get up and get them cakes, bruh. You tripping. Philip. Uh, honey, it's been exactly a month since you uh, locked yourself in your room. Your sister and I miss you very, very much. And your father is losing his patience. Bro, she got the pancakes out there with the crispy edges, bruh. You know I'm out there, bro, with extra butter. Do you think you could come out just this one time and have breakfast with us like a family? Philip need a psychiatrist. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, mother, please, I don't want to discuss the same thing every time. I want to, mother. I just, it's just that I can't. There you go. Let her know. Let her know. We're not gonna be giving excuses. It's okay. Oh, it's, oh. I'm leaving the pancakes right here behind the door. This afternoon, I'll pick them up, uneaten as always. Aw, oh, aw. Oh. I have everything I need in here. Stop bringing me food. No, 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 no. no don't talk to your mother like that. Don't talk to your mother like that. Aw. Oh, God, why does, he, why does he have to punish me like this? Am I such a bad mother? Aw. Oh. Bro, I'm calling a uh, listen. She's gone finally. Phil, you got something going on, bro. Listen. <laughs> got to call you a priest, bro. I have to patch this wound before uh, I bleed out. You're not going to bleed out, dude. It's a it's a flesh wound, bro. This sock will do. I only wore it twice. 
Meant to know, next time I slide a trash bag out the window, I should use gloves. What a mess. Bro, you're like 38 years old, bro, with this problem, bro. Like, if you don't grow up... Okay, bro, I, like, I know there's people out there that got the same type of... I don't know them, but I'm just saying. It's, I know there's people out there with the same type of issue. It's just a video game, bro, you know? I hate seeing mother suffering. Unlike father, I know she's trying to understand my condition. I'd like to tell her that I feel safe here. But I'm so ashamed of it. Uh, all that word hold on wait all that word gets stuck in my throat hold on hold on wait what but i'm so ashamed of it all that words get stuck in my throat okay bro i'm sorry i couldn't, couldn't get through that this is what you do all day uh warm myself socialize eat uh just, just eat bro let's get go get them pancakes Hi. what you gonna eat i would love to know what you're about to eat I'm starving. Let's see what I can get for breakfast. Bro, it's a, it's a hot stack of pancakes right outside the door. We going back to the closet, bro? Uh, what do we have on the menu today? Uh, we got corned beef, uh, yaki show, yakisoba noodles, uh, tomato soup, and then we got water. Bro, get some of that corned beef up in you, dude. Perfect. Now I just have to heat it up. Okay, get you a cooking pot. All right, we out. Now, where are you going to warm this up at? Right on the floor. I can't live like this, dude. I got to go outside. I know your room is stinking, bruh. You ain't washed. You ain't, you ain't, you, you know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta get in those crevices, bruh. Underarms, booty cheeks, bro. All of that is, is kicking, cuz. <laughs> Yo, 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 yo. Take it easy, take it easy. He ate his food. And he sits right back in the same spot on the bed, knowing there's a dent in that spot. Bro, you already warm, bro. Socialize. I ain't got time to be warm. He, he don't need to warm up. To my knowledge, the theory is if your body's cold, there is no funk coming from your body or your armpits. Once it starts to heat up, bro, it's... That's where the funk comes from. Staying, uh, spying on the neighbors is not exactly, uh, vi vi vigor vigorous? No! Or, uh, I I've seen that word before. But what the hell? It's not like I have many ways to re, uh, re bro, I can't re relive my, uh, loneliness here. I can't read now, bro. I'm thinking about this dude, funk, bro. Oh, um, we're looking at the telescope. I'm mad I didn't get that word right either. Was that virtuous? Vir okay, whatever, bro. I messed it up. Okay. What was this dude right here? Mr. Timbers uh, fills the tank every day. Sometimes more than once. I wonder where he's driving. If you would go outside, you could probably ask him, sir. Bro, you ain't gonna comment on this? Look at this right here, bro. Those are definitely not normal birds. That dog, bro, getting his pee on. I can't click on that. Can't click on that. Okay. Oh, okay. We got a conversation going on out here. What's going on? Can I not click on these two? They just talking. All right. Oh, oh, no, they. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mrs. Potter is a uh, hardcore atheist. Oh my gosh. Our former pastor learned this lesson fast, but poor Father Adams uh, moved here just a few few days ago. Or she about to um, she about to give you a two piece and a biscuit, quick. Okay. There ain't no way the snowman head just fall off. I mean, it's possible, but it's a cold day outside. Like we in dead heat of dead heat of the winter, and yet the head fall off. Okay, who's this? <sighs> oh, what is her name, Noel? No, 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 Noelle? Bro, I don't know, Noelle. I'm gonna go with Noelle. Ugh. Oh, and there's Brian, of course. Damn, idiot. You don't have any chance with Noelle. I, bro, is that Noelle? It is, it is. Uh, leave her alone. Can't you see she's in a hurry? Look at you, bro. Like, trying to, like, 
She don't even know you exist. Cause you in your room. You ain't said nothing for 30 days, bro. She done forgot about you, goofball. This game making me mad. Hold on, bro. You Oh, you saw that? Did you see that? You saw the blood going into the church like that? This game got me fired up, bro. Hold on now. I like this. I'm liking this. Um, uh, Noelle Hayashi? Hayashi, okay. The only person in the damn town who doesn't judge me. Or maybe she just hides her disgust. I used to work in uh, her mother's grocery store during the holidays to earn some extra money. I miss that life so much. Nowadays, Noelle uh, sneaks into my garden once or twice a week to bring me food. If it wasn't for her, I'd be dead for sure. <sighs> Okay, so Noelle still is so okay, okay. Ah, uh, Noelle. Uh, you're such an extraordinary human being. Okay, like. If you miss it so much, bro, like do something about it, man. You're making me mad. Warm yourself up. This dude is like getting underneath my skin, bro. My hands are frozen. I need to warm up the room. Alright, bro. I already know what to do. Hit the heater up. Where did I leave the lighter? Um, I must have put it somewhere around here. Where could you have put the lighter? Up here? On the shelf? Oh, there you are. I got lucky on that one. Alright, go ahead and warm it up. How did you end up inside a pot of noodles? Because you nasty, bro. I found the lighter. I just need to turn the heater on. Go ahead and turn it on. I found... Oh, you gotta turn it on. Oh, I got the lighter. Use the lighter. Duh. Okay, I forget. This is a it's a it's a point to click, but you also have to use your items by dragging and dropping. Okay, my bad, my bad. Ah, much better. Bro, you play too many 3D games, you forget how simple a 2D game could be. Uh, every day is exactly the same to me. Indistinguishable from the rest. Uh, just sleep, eat, watch TV. But uh, it's this uh, constant routine that he helps me stay sane. If I'm lucky enough to not have mother and father knocking on my door, I consider it a great day. This story is, is unreal, bro. That this man is really going through that because he has these visions in his dream of the dark. He's scared of the dark, bro. Just turn the hallway light on. Noelle. Hey, Phil. Noelle here. Are you ready for our date? He looks so much older than she does. I'm going to just be honest. Maybe it's the, it's, it's the haircut and the glasses. I don't know, bro. Well, what movie are we watching tonight? Uh, Noelle convinced me to have a uh, movie night date. Uh, or movie date night? I think that would have been... Okay, anyway. Uh, every few days to cheer me up. Uh, we watch a horror flick together uh, while we chat. Why y'all watching... This, this, why you in, this is probably why y'all in that in the first place. Uh, I fancy something mild. How about kill and let kill? Good choice. I like romance. Look at this. Okay, this is... This is okay. This is awesome. Uh, a late time full of uh, drunk teenagers celebrating summer. Uh, nothing can go wrong. Hey, how's your day going? Uh, slightly better now that I'm talking. Oh, okay. Slightly better now that I'm talking to you. You're my only friend left. Okay, bro, don't sound desperate, dude. Don't be silly. Honey, did you leave the shed light on? Damn, kids. They must have uh, sneaked into the garden again. I'm gonna uh, teach them a lesson. I was worried. Uh, you haven't logged on in for hours. <sighs> I'm sorry. Uh, I've been dozing on and off the whole day. I'm very tired. Uh, this is my last try. Are you sure you don't want my therapist number? There you go. Come on, she's a beast. Oh, she a beast, huh? She helped me recover from my depression, and it was a deep one. Uh, and she's an anime geek too. Uh, that's a nice, that's a nice extra, a nice touch. 
touch would have been better. Uh, I'll think about it. Promise. Hello? Anyone there? Uh, jump scare you coming. Don't scare me, please. Probably a cat. Okay. Or, or, <laughs> I'm too into this, bro. That was the cat hissing, bro. I, I thought it was the guy screaming. There it is. One point for me. You've seen too many B movies. So how are you doing? Uh, well, you know, uh, I'm crazy busy at the grocery store. Uh, with this code, I'm home delivery. Uh, it's home delivery orders all the time. Uh, you know how it is. Okay. Uh, there was no one, honey. Uh, I must have left the light on. I'm about to body you up. By the way, uh, I don't know if I should tell you. This year's uh, Anime Con tickets are already available. Uh oh, slasher time. <laughs> oh. That's it, cousin, bro. He done bodied you up. Are you going to Anime Con? I don't know yet. Uh, it, w I, it would be weird. Uh, without you, my loyal cosplay partner. Bro, I, I like. You should definitely go. Even though I'm stuck in this whole situation. And not me, bro. I'm going, bro. But, you know. You should definitely go. Uh, you can't break the tradition. I guess. Sorry to leave you hanging. Uh, we put a lot of work into our uh, costumes dur during the year. And now. I fear I won't be sharing uh, those special moments with you again. Bro, put some deodorant on and go outside, bro. Like what? Of course you will. You'll get over this little bump. You'll see. Anyway, uh, enough movie for me. Gonna hit the hay. Uh, Mom will kill me if I show up late at the store tomorrow. Bye. Night. Phil, bro, you listen, listen. I wish I had the strength to go to the convention with you, Noelle. Uh, I'm fighting to leave this room every damn second. Uh, but in the meantime, I can only uh, go back to my memories of us together over and over again. Uh, from a time when I was uh, capable of being a supportive friend when you needed one. Isn't that enough to get you up? <laughs> oh my gosh, it scared me. I came as soon as I could. What happened? <laughs> Asshole. I'd punched that stupid bastard's face in. I hate him. Who? I don't understand. My father. Uh, I got home and found mom crying her eyes out. Baking chocolate plum cakes what's a chocolate plum bro uh she had already cooked seven batches when i arrived and the eighth was already in the oven do you know what that means uh an excessively high carb diet no uh no you idiot mom bakes plum cakes like a maniac when she feels depressed bro i'm, I'm getting hungry bro my stomach growling bro after i heard plum cakes dad confessed to her this morning what she had suspected for months. He's been having an affair with a student in his class. Ah, oh, oh no, oh no. He says he loves her and now he wants to start a new life with her and... <laughs> Damn, I'm sorry, Noelle. I guess we're not enough for him. Freaking son of a... Hey, you know what? You two are better off without him. Hayashi women are true warriors. If he's not up to par, there's the door. Your mother is tough as nails, and you? Look at you. You got a second cosplay award at um, uh, Anime Con. Yay! Show me your war cry? Phil, stop. This is the least comforting speech in history. <laughs> She dissed you, bro. She dissed you. But thank you. I love you for trying. Ah, oh, bro. Aw, oh, look at that. Don't you want to go back to that, dude? Look what you got right there. Look at this whole little relationship you got. And you BS it, bro. You stressing and BS. 
That's crazy. And you in this room. Funk master flexing it up, bro. Like what? Another day, just like the rest. I wonder if this is going to be my life from now on. Oh my gosh, bro. Just taking up space in my parents' house like a piece of furniture. At least I could buy food with my own money. Uh, that makes me feel a little less like a parasite. Bro. Which reminds me, I'm super low on supplies. Alright, purchase food online. Bro, you need to like, get on some forums, bro, to help you out. Like, get some sage or, or you know, what's, what's, uh, what's that salt that you put on the door? Like, do something, bro. Amazon, you listen, you have Amazon. You can do whatever you want. You can order whatever you want. But you got the internet, bro. What? If I place my order now, Noelle uh, will bring it over this afternoon. I feel like I'm abusing her generosity, but um, seeing her face up close always brightens my day. Yeah, you got to look at her from afar because you, your butt stinks. All right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the groceries going. Hold on, they website kind of lit. I think that's what I miss about like uh, old websites. They used to have music attached. Nah, bro, they boring now. Okay, uh, let's get how much money I got. They don't say how much money I got, but let's get some uh, let's get some bottle of water. Oh, just complete purchase. The card what? on file has expired. What the? You broke, son. Is there something wrong with my card? You ain't got no money. Card temporarily canceled. Oh my god. Canceled? Poop. Father. You've gone too far this time. What am I supposed to do now? Mm. Oh yeah, your daddy didn't said that's enough. Eat that old Twix right there. Uh exit that out. I don't know what you're gonna do now, bro. Um I, I don't know what to do. Oh, just exit, just exit. <gasps> Damn it, Piper. He in there playing. Oh. What? Is someone there? Hello? Oh, you're Phil's ghost, aren't you? My brother used to sleep in that room, but he locked himself inside there a month ago, and we never heard from him again. Oh, that's his sister. I think he died. Very funny. Uh, if the music bothers you so much, you're free to come turn the volume down yourself. And your sister just bodied you. She, and she turned it back on. Damn, kid. My sister, a real whirlwind. Uh, she definitely knows how to make our lives less boring. Your sister is living it up. And you in there need some degree, like... Gosh, I just, bro, he just, he musty, he musty. Uh, she's strong. Jacob, she'll make it. Is she going to die, father? Don't be stupid. I need a smoke. I just want to make sure I was recording, bro. Like, I looked over, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This would have been a tragic. Who lives? Who dies? That's not us to decide, Phil. Only God guides our journey, our destiny. Oh, gosh. Oh. Keep fighting, sis. When you get out of here, I'll always be by your side, taking care of you. I went from only child to overprotective older brother. Mother told me I had to be Piper's superhero and always have her back. Over time, Piper grew into a difficult girl, and God knows she suffered father's abuse more than anyone who ever deserved would ever deserve bro i cannot read today i tried to shield her from his wrath like a real superhero would but i don't think i do a very good job and now i lack the strength to be out there for her 
I hate myself for that. What's my name? Phil, right? Or is it Jacob? It's Jacob. Jacob, you need to get, get it together. No, it's Phil. This house is a mess. That's your way out right there. Oh, he tripping. Or you need some help, dude. Oh, there's father. There you go. Uh, what you, uh, what won't you even answer? Have you gone deaf in there? I have been working my butt off to give you and your sister a good life. And what do I get in return? A demon child and a slacker. What the hell happened to you, son? You weren't like this before. Uh, the situation is getting very tiring. Your poor mother gets up early every morning to bring you your favorite breakfast. And you just leave it here to rot. At least the ants are delighted. Maybe the time's come for drastic measures. Like canceling my bank account? Like bringing me a laxative filled breakfast every morning? Oh. You should thank your mother for stopping me. I would have dragged you out of there by your feet a long time ago. Yo. Drastic measures. Oh God. Uh oh, they about to break the door down. It's just a panic attack. Calm down. I'm fine. <sighs> My father. A freaking father. My freaking father. Um, if belittling his children was a sport, he would be the unbeatable champion. How could Piper and I compete against our family's history of greatness and success? My great grand father built a logging empire from the ground up making him one of the richest businessmen in the region look at that stash dude oh, i gotta pick i gotta click on it. <laughs> then my grandfather inherited the company he too was a person of great importance in this town oh but the next chapter is the one he usually skips. Okay, brother. In less than 10 years, my father managed to ruin the company and the lives of all the families who depended on him. But no matter what, he still wants everyone to believe he's a big shot. So he spends his time being a butthole to everyone around him. Bro, that's a lot of pressure, bro, to keep that something like that going. That's that's a lot of pressure. You, 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 your dad just don't want to admit he couldn't do it, or he 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 made a wrong turn and it went it went wrong. You slept ten hours and twenty three minutes last night. Oh my gosh, bro! You know the headache you get from sleeping too long. I hate it. It hurts. What a nice way to wake up. Okay, Phil, take a deep breath and focus on. Your morning routine. And I'm, I'm, bro, I really don't. There ain't no way you doing that, dude. I'm not pooping in no bucket. And then you put it in the closet. Then, like, bro, do you know the stench coming from that closet and then you're eating in here, dude? I cannot be on your side with this, Phil. You got to do something, bro. Like, I'm fighting. I got to fight. I got to fight. 30 days is a long time. I get sick for a week. I'm done. I'm losing my mind. Hey, good evening. What a storm we had. Snow plows are smoking. Anyway. Movie time. Did you know the 60s classic space Ravagers? What is that, bro? Yeah, Ravagers is on Got Film. Want to watch it? 
I don't have a subscription anymore. I'm afraid my father canceled my bank account. I'm broke. <gasps> what? Can he do that without your consent? He can, and he did. He can, and he did. Bro, you gotta start, bro. You gotta grow up, bro. What a prick. Don't worry, though. I have a friends and family, so. An invite is on the way. But well, she's doing everything for you, bro. Except. You owe her. Big time, dude. Space Ravagers. Something happened this morning. Uh, you know, I suspect that Brian has a big crush on me. Yeah, you ain't gonna like that. Well, he finally asked me out. Ooh, what you gonna do? Yeah, you ain't like that to hear that, did you? Hey, are you there? Yeah, you hunk. Your, your heart then sunk into your chest. What did you say? I think my reaction was something like... I just told him I was late for work. That we should talk about it later. Uh, you didn't reject him. I thought you weren't interested. Phil! I know. But we talk a lot lately. Phil! He's cool. Phil! And funny. Phil! And smart. Oh my god, bro. And kind of cute. Oh, yeah, you done. You done. Anyway, my brain is a mess right now. Phil, you you toast. You toast, bro. Put put butter and, and, and jelly on you, bro, because you toast. Uh, these signals are abnormal. The earth is in danger. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. She don't want you, dude. Or I'll screw up like always. Okay, I don't know. I'm trying to watch the movie too. Uh, have mercy. If you destroy the earth, you'll kill millions of innocent people. Innocent? You pointed your weapons at Mars. Uh, slaying many of my people. Uh-oh. But you would be punishing all humanity for the crimes of a few. Perhaps you have the truth on your side, human. But we have the lasers. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, bro. Oh, they all left. What a bastard. Yes, thank uh, goodness. Uh, it's just science fiction. Anyway. Hey, you didn't order fruit from the online shop yesterday. Is it because of your bank account? Yeah, I'm broke, ma'am. I'll talk to mom. Uh, she won't mind lending you some food. We do the same with Mrs. Potter at the end of the, every month. Hey, you know she just bodied the priest, though? I'm sorry to be a burden. Hey, don't start, okay? You're not a burden, nor a piece of poop that no one cares about. You're a smart, caring guy going through a rough time. That's all. And you are my guardian angel. See, you make her happy mentally. Oh boy, can make her happy. Physically. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I just want I'm just putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there. I'm, 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 we need to make we gotta we gotta turn this over, bro. We gotta do something, bro. We gotta do something. Oh no, nah, bro. Nasty! Enough! What the freak do you want from me? I need to lower my revs. What does that mean? Yo, yo, click on this. Poop. Did I leave the TV on? I'm a mess. Click on that, bro. I can't click on it. Is that George Foreman, bro? Like, what was this dude? Uh, still suffering from the effects of this uh, unending cold wave. Uh, we haven't seen a snowstorm <laughs> like tonight since 1964. 
Uh, remember to put on your warmest clothes uh, when leaving the house and avoid driving unless necessary. Oh, they, oh, the Midnight Seas got his own little segment. And most important of all, don't miss this evening's episode of Midnight Scenes, written and directed by Silva Gardner. Okay. In Dance of Spring, Mrs. Lawrence will find her house invaded by a hive of mutant uh, alien ants. Sounds terrifying. Bro, get out of here, body locks. Like, I can't. I'm already having a hard time reading, trying to do a voice and read at the same time is killing me. Uh, let's check how bad this storm is. Okay, I'm going to go to the left. No, 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 no. Go to the right first because we already know what's over here. This dog, bro, got some urination problems. You did it again. Well done. Who is this, bro? That's a little creepy. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was that you? What does that feel? <gasps> oh my god! <sighs> yep, you got me. You got me. I didn't think this game was gonna do it. My heart is going to explode. You got me on that one. Okay, we just passed the grocery store. Oh. Oh, the whole. Whoa! Yikes! All the collection money will go to fixing that bell, the bell tower. Uh, this cold wave will end up sweeping the whole town. Yo, that church got something going on, bro. Look at all this. Look, all this is messed up now. Oh, he gonna, he gonna find Noelle out there talking to old boy again. Okay, snowman still messed up. Who is that? Is that Noelle? You shameless rat. Oh, no, that's, oh, that's, uh, 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 that's what you call it. I forget his name. Uh-oh. Here you go. He waiting for her to come outside. Bro, like, if you don't, like, stop stalking her. Both of y'all. He put his scarf on and jacket on immediately. Uh, there you are. Brian the Stalker. What a coincidence. Uh, you always show up when Noelle goes to work. Yeah, you know, you know. They're having a little nice little conversation. He probably musty too. Leave me alone, you ruined my life. Oh, that's his sister going off. Don't you dare raise your voice at us. What do you who do you think you are? I'll teach you how to show some respect. You don't care about me at all. I hate you. Is it true, Jacob? Are we horrible parents? Both of our children hate us. They don't even want to see us. What are you talking about? Of course not. But don't worry. I'll find a way to keep these uh, ingrates uh, under check. Uh, we can't allow these attitudes any longer. It's just that the Lord is testing us. There's uh, no doubt about it, about that. Uh, but I uh, know we're doing a good job. Our friends, our neighbors, I hear them in uh, the church. They're whispering about what's happening in this house. Have faith, everything will be fine. Now you gotta talk to your sister, bro. This is getting out of control. Hey. Hello? Piper, are you okay? Oh look, who decided to break his vow of silence? What? What happened? <laughs> Leave me alone, you don't give a poop either. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, uh, is it because of that boy, Jake? Who's Jake? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just ask. Is it because of that boy, Jake? Oh, she didn't answer. Whatever it is, I'm sure there's a solution. Sure, I can always follow your example and lock myself in my room for a while. <laughs> Yo. 
He's been acting very weird lately. And suddenly... He told me he's trying it again. With Amanda, his ex. <laughs> what kind of town do y'all live in? Everybody want to go, you know? It's all father and mother's doing. They never approved to my relationship with Jake. Uh, they talked to his parents and scared him. <laughs> but this was just another mark on the wall for father. He rejoices in my humiliation and mother is too stupid to even care. I'm drowning in this freaking house. And now, just when I need you the most, you lock yourself in there. <laughs> I never felt so alone. Piper, I... No, freak you! You're just as poopy as them! Damn, bro, you catching... You catching... Everything coming your way, bro. I'm so sorry, Piper. It's too late now, bro. Do something! When are you... What? Uh oh. What's happening, bro? What the hell is this? I'm out of there, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not staying. Find the password. What's this? A private invitation? Bro, what is this? It's a crossword? Oh, what? I do, see, I do see this one. This word right here. Right here. Whoa. This game got puzzles in it, bro. Like, whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. That's an eye. Put this right here. Put this... I don't know what's going on, and I'm getting a little nervous. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, finish the face first, right here. Uh, this probably goes like right there. This goes right there. This goes to the top. Boom. This goes right here. Boom. Right there. Boom. Is that Noelle? This dude is tripping. Another nightmare. What the hell is wrong with me? I'm no longer, I no longer know if I'm sleeping. These shadows that stalk me in my dreams, I feel like they're trying to show me something. Point me to a specific path. But what does it all mean? Poop. My brain is about to melt down. Eighty-five percent of your users achieve their daily goal. You can still do it. Good for them. It's getting colder outside too, I'm noticing. Is it night already? Not like it matters. Bro, your stomach sounds just like mine, bro. I'm hungry, bro. I ran out of food. Unless Noel brings me uh, some supplies tomorrow, I'll die here. You gotta warm it up. I'm freezing. When will this stupid cold wave end? I need to warm this up this room. Alright, bro. Let's do it. What happens when that dies? Ah, uh, much better. Yep. I knew it. I was oh, come on. It ran out of gas, of course. Oh, you got a note. What's this? A note? Grab it. 
I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. You are not as just as poopy as them. Uh, it's just that I feel very lonely and overwhelmed. But I love you. Piper. Ah, oh, bro, your sister, bro. Thank Piper for the note. Why is her room so dark, you know? Thanks for the apology note, sis. I know it sucks living in this house, but I'm here for you no matter what. No matter what, huh? Go back to your coffin. Phil's ghost, I'm tired. Sure, good night. Phil, I see you trying to make amends. Y'all still got love for each other, bro. But listen, Phil, I need you to lock in, bro. I need you to get this going. What should I do now? <gasps> ah, poop. Again? Where's the flashlight, Rose? It looks like a blackout. It's getting serious. It's getting serious. Okay, they're doing it on its own now. They don't need me. Don't scare me again, bro. Indeed, the town is pitch dark. Uh, the electrical uh, station hasn't been updated since World War II. There's no way it can withstand a cold wave like this. Oh, bro, come on now. You know they finna scare me, bro. I gotta check out the gas station. How you getting gas, dude? Seriously, Tim? My man's is still getting gas. Oh my gosh, stop. Yikes. They got their way of putting their jump scares because I know what's going to happen. Okay, the grocery store is still good. Look at the church, dude. Look at the church, bro. Oh, they just have a mass. Okay. I don't even know what today is. I don't know what the day is. I don't know anything. They put the... <gasps> what the hell? Who is that? You better be dreaming, dude. <gasps> Yo! I don't even, this, okay, this was Wednesday. I don't know what day that happened. Today's my day. <laughs> Bro, I wish I wake up like happy like that, doing little dance moves. Like that'd be, what kind of, what kind of sleep do you have to have to do that? You, know, you gotta zit, bro, you gotta pop that. Happy, oh, it's her birthday. Oh, okay, yeah, well, on my birthday, I do do that. Get you some juice first. No pulp, just, nah, nah, you gotta have the pulp, bro. You gotta, that makes the juice. Mm. Eat the cupcake. Are you gonna bite it? Mm. You want some coffee? You didn't bite it. Uh, my first caffeinated beverage, like a grown-up. I hope it's not a voucher for a motherly hug. I mean, hey, don't those are cool, you know? Like, don't act like don't act like you don't want no no mother voucher for a motherly hug, you know what I'm saying? Chocolate cupcake, yum. Do you think I forgot? I got up early to bake you a batch. Aw, oh, you're the best. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Happy birthday, honey. Thanks, mom. Uh, any noticeable wrinkles? Uh, perhaps any coming of age includes a pay raise? <laughs> yeah, wishful thinking. Any noticeable wrinkles? Uh, you still have a long way for that. Time flies. You're such a tiny... You, you were such a tiny thing running between my legs. And now, look at you. Oh no, cringy motherly talk. In three seconds. Run, Noelle. 
Uh, you can take the afternoon off and celebrate with your friends. Oh, and don't forget to open that envelope. I hope you like the content. Dang. That's a W mom right there. What's up, neighbor? Bro, Brian, I, why you... Happy birthday. Look at, look at Brian, bro, trying to get good, bro. Giving birthday text. You remember. Thank you. Uh, was I the first one? Tell me I was. Yeah, sure you were. Uh, would you like to hang out with me after work? I have a present for you. Ooh. Really? <laughs> In that case, I'd love to. Uh, but I need to go to the uh, learners first. Phil needs some supplies. Come with me? Oh. Uh -oh. Uh, it's probably a bad idea. See, he already know. He already know. I don't think Phil likes me very much. But it's kind of mutual, to be honest. They got beef out here, bro. Yeah, I noticed. I'll call you later, okay? Awesome. Ooh, have a super duper. Okay, bro, you ruined it. Amazing day, bro. You ruined it. Aww. Nobody says super duper, bro. How cute. Oh, Brian, hey, he getting close. He getting close. Y'all was neck and neck. Brian about to seal the deal, bro. Oh, I get to play as her now. Okay. I thought he was going to pop outside. He already got the text. He, he having a great day now, bro. He's smiling from ear to ear. How you doing? Good morning, Noelle. I'm so glad to see you. Good morning, Father Adams. On your way to work? Uh, yeah, winter is crazy busy. Uh, so many home deliveries. I can imagine. Your mother is very lucky to have you. Uh, the Lord and I are, on the other hand, have very little work these days. In this cold wave, people don't like leaving their homes or their houses. Hmm. Uh, it does look like a ghost town, doesn't it? Uh, do you think I could convince you to come to Mass this Sunday? Uh, I'd be very happy to preach for uh, someone besides the stone walls. I'm not uh, particularly religious. My mother would like it. Sure, why not? I'll tell my mom. Uh, she always recalls how much fun she had singing in the church choir when she was young. There you go. Oh, and bring your friend Phil, too. I haven't seen him on the basketball court for weeks. Yes, well, he's having a rough time. Hold on, Phil was a baller, bro? Okay, out there getting his Kyrie Irving on? I'm sorry to hear that. I'll stop by the Larners uh, one of these days to say hello. Uh, well, I don't keep, I won't keep you any longer, Noel. No Noelle, sorry. It was lovely to see you. Say hello to your mother. Oh, he's watching her right now. So it went from me playing as her to him watching her through his telescope. You got to appreciate the small little details. You got to pay attention, bro. Hey, wake up, bro. Pay attention. Okay. Back to the mines. Okay. This game is ingenious, bro. I like this game, bro. Talk to your mom real quick. Uh, thanks for the awesome gift, Mom. I'm so excited to go to Anime Con this year. I wish I had someone to go with. You have two tickets now. Maybe Phil will break his lockdown to go with you? I don't think he can choose when to feel ill or not, Mom. Well, what about that boy, Brian? I've seen you spending a lot of time together. Would you let me go with a boy you barely know? You'd be okay with me traveling to another side of the country with a boy you barely know? Of course, I know Brian. I've been friends with his parents since before you were born. Besides, I trust you. That's enough for me. You're growing up. Mom, wait, what? You're growing up, mom. Oh, okay. 
Okay, I might ask him. Hey, mom. Hmm? About Phil. Uh, his parents cancel his bank account, and we can't order. He and he can't order food. Mm -mm. Stop right there. The answer is no. We don't do loans. But mom, Phil has a family who takes care of him. He's not our responsibility. We give free food to Miss Potter's. We give free food to Miss Potter's every month. Uh, is she our responsibility? She has no one. It's not the same. Phil's parents only want to keep up appearances. They don't care about his mental health. Please, mom. He needs our help. That's enough. I'm gonna go be the. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go be the villain in this movie. Bring him whatever you want, but it will come out of your pocket. Okay, I guess that's fair. And now go change. We have work to do. Bro, I gotta go read a book after this, bro. Like, I'm struggling, dude. Five oh five PM. That damn dog. Okay, I got the groceries. I got the groceries. Oh. Go ahead and move. Keep moving. A snow pile. There's blood in there, bro. I don't even want to know. Keep it moving in. Okay, let's be careful. I don't want the learners to catch me bringing uh, stuff to fill. I'll leave the bags under his window. Okay, leave the bags there. Okay. I should let him know the bags are here. Or the bottles will explode in this cold. Uh, I need to get Phil's attention somehow. Uh, what do you want me to do? Grab a rock. Grab a rock. Okay, I'm, I was sitting. This will do. All right, go ahead and throw the rock at the window. Don't break the window now, Noelle. I need to. Oh, okay, throw. Oh, throw the rock. There you go. Look at this dude, bro. Don't. This dude threw up a heart. Don't send me a text. Say something. You could have had a conversation right then and there. You're the best. Look at this dude in his room, man. I don't know what I'd do without you. Don't thank me. You owe me $74. Oh, I added a complimentary chocolate bar. To celebrate your birthday. Celebrate my birthday. Oh, poop, I forgot. Yep, you Sorry. done. You done. Brian. Brian, all the way in there, bro. It's hard to keep track of the calendar in here. Happy birthday. No, I don't mean nothing now. Brian already got his. Don't sweat it. Yep. She... <laughs> You owe me $74 and a nice gift. Promise. Friend zone, friend zone. By the way, make sure to close your waste containers tightly. Your garden smells horrible. <sighs> Yikes, sorry. I'll be more careful next time. I'm out of here. My butt is freezing. Uh, enjoy the chocolate bar. Ah, uh, phew. Thank goodness. One more day without food and I start looking like a one-eyed willy. Bro, do you know what a one-eyed willy is? Yo. Okay, time to refill the pantry. I'll walk up to the closet, bro. Get rid of that bucket, dude. This looks much better. All that was $74, bro? Inflation is crazy. Got you a chuck bar. As for you, 
about to indulge. Ah, hazelnuts, my favorite. Hey, bro, that, that, hey. Philip, are you there, my dear? Oh, no. So, wait a minute, wait a minute. There is no monsters. It's, it's the parents? You have a visitor. It's Father Adams. Yeah, there you go. I said this at the beginning of the game. You needed a priest, bro. Hello, Phil. I hope you're doing well. Your mom says you're feeling a bit down lately. Is there anything I can do to help? Yeah, bro, bless this room. But you might want to put a clothespin on your nose if you're going to try to get too close. You can talk to me, okay? There's nothing to be ashamed of. The Lord tests our resilience by putting challenges in front of us. Come on, Phil, bro, get the good word up in you. I pray for you, my son. And please, don't forget your parents are suffering too. Be compassionate with them. Thank you, Father. I appreciate you coming here. I'm sorry. I couldn't be of much help. Oh, you absolutely were for me. What? Oh, you absolutely were for me. Uh, would you like some tea, Father? Uh, that would be lovely. Thank you. I'll have the chance to admire that impressive haunting trophy in your dining room. Uh, it's from three years ago. Jacob is very proud of it. Okay. Oh, hunting trophy. Okay. All right. It's a weird thing to say if you go over somebody's house, bro. Let me go. Uh, let me go uh, check out that trophy you get. That hunting trophy you got. Like I haven't seen it before. Let me admire it. Ugh. Freak this town. Uh oh, now your ceiling falling apart. They are in your uh, attic, sir. You are my biggest disappointment. I'll get your ass out of this room, dead or alive, you hear me? He's dreaming again. Yeah, he's dreaming again. No! He, bro, he's starving, bro. I gotta, listen, I gotta get something to eat too, bro. I know, I know. My stomach. Oh, you having a bad one, bro. Oh, yeah, you, you got, oh, oh. Who made that sound effect? <laughs> this is not good. Not good at all. Now what you gonna do? Now you're sick. Oh. Now you gotta leave the room. Oh my god, I'm dying. I barely ate yesterday. Why am I so sick? Probably because you you tried to put some sugar in you, uh, from that chocolate bar. Maybe I could find an online doctor. Bro, if you don't just climb out the window, it hurts a lot. Oh yeah, yeah he hurting. Oh. Maybe if I wait a little longer, bro, do something. I'll feel better. Oh my god, <sighs> Phil, 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 you are pissing me off right now. Maybe not. It's very late, but I should probably ask for help. Ask Piper first. You have to go to the source first. Go. She out on a date, bro. She. This her birthday. She out on a date with Brian, bro. You messed that up, Piper. Are you awake? I need your help. Oh yeah, boy. Ouch, it hurts. Yeah, you got that diarrhea flow. Maybe that chocolate bar was old. You gotta ask Noel. Noelle. God. Are you awake? It's 1.50 in the morning. I'm really, I'm very sick. My stomach hurts like hell and I can't stop throwing up. What should I do? I have no meds here. Bro, Brian is right in the bed with her, bro. They spooning, bro. Ugh, I can't stand it anymore. You gotta do something, dude. I have to do it. I have to go out. Everyone's sleeping now. I could go down to the bathroom and get something for the pain without getting noticed. Being noticed. 
All right, I'm going out. It's about time, bro. Whoa. Come on, Phil, you can do it. Okay, bro, open the door up. All this security for what? Open the door. I can do it. I just need to go downstairs, pick up the meds, and come back quick and quiet. <sighs> bro, you could have been did all of this. Like, open up the door, move. Go downstairs. Oh, you throwing... Oh, no. Ugh. Oh, disgusting. Bro, you ever, like... We've all done it, bro. You, like... Threw up in your mouth a little bit, and then you had to swallow it because you didn't want to throw it on the floor. Like, oh god, and it burns. It's so gross. Come on, we gotta go. What's this? That's father. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. You already, you already here. You already here. Ooh. No, 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 no. Rose, could I please have a glass of water too? Sure thing. Bro, go in there, dude. Hurry up. Hurry up. You wasting time. That's your time to open the door when the water's going. Cause it uh 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 sound. You gotta be stealthy, bro. Use the sound to your advantage. I thought the the father's bedroom was right here. Whew. That was close. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, maybe they were in the kitchen just chilling. That's 150, they were sleeping. The pain is killing me. I need to find something for my stomach. Bro, get you some Pepto. Uh, there has to be something here for the pain. Uh, what you got here? What you got? Let's see. Uh, cream tube, cream pot, cough syrup, pills, pills, eye drops. Take the pills. Painkillers. Yes. This may work. Okay. Um... Oh gosh, don't do that. Ugh. Uh, I should go back to my room before someone finds me. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, very carefully. Bro, oh, turn it off, bro! Congratulations, you completed your first 100 steps this month. Uh, welcome back to a healthy life. I hope no one heard it. Bro, let's go. Okay, come on. Phil, let's try this again. <gasps> Philip, you finally left your room. Yeah, it's the parents. I knew you'd make it, son. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> let's celebrate. Bro, bro, bro. Get him off my screen, bro. Get him off my screen. It wasn't even real. It wasn't real. It wasn't real. <sighs> Will these freaking nightmares ever stop? At least the stomach ache was a part of the dream. I don't think my heart can take this much longer. Uh, perhaps these night terrors are a symptom of my reclusive life. Anyway, I have another exciting day ahead. Let's leave him alone, Jacob. I don't think he knows anything about Piper. He's a larner. Uh, if that devil girl runs away from home, it's his duty to help us find her. This time, uh, she emptied her closet, though. What if she's gone for good? Uh, if that's the case, good riddance. She can look for the family she deserves and Whoa! Father? She broke her boyfriend's arm two days ago, and now this? Poor Jake. Uh, she just pushed him, but he's had a, but he had a bad fall. I'm so ashamed. 
His parents must think we raised a savage. And if we didn't have enough with her, this lazy son of yours... Ah, uh, what a waste of time. Why even bother? He's probably sleeping or playing video games. The only things he's interested in. Free. Come on, Piper. Don't lose your mind now. Who are you calling? Are you there? I heard my parents talking. Piper ran away from home. She took all her things. I don't think she's coming back. I'm worried. Bro, if you don't send all that in one text, I hate people that... Bro, you sending me a thousand texts, my phone is... Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, like, come on, bro. Oh, no. Uh, hey, don't worry, okay? Uh, she'll be back as soon as she runs out of money. This time I have a bad feeling. You know that Piper can be a bit unpredictable. Uh, maybe she's with that boyfriend of hers. Don't think so. Uh, they had a small fight. Uh, they, there were some broken bones. Oh my god. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, she's having a uh, very rough time. Her world is crumbling down, and I'm not there for her. Maybe she needs someone else to talk to, a professional. Come on, it's my freaking family uh, we're talking about. Who needs a shrink when you can have the church? <sighs> very true. I'll keep my ears open, okay? Uh, I'll tell you if I hear anything. Something wrong, honey? Phil's sister, Piper, she ran away from home. Again? Didn't she leave last month too? I feel for the Larners. They must be going through a lot with those two kids. Ugh, the phone is ringing non-stop today. Uh-oh, there go Big Brian. Big Brian then showed up. What's up, neighbor? He probably got that little twang in his voice. Hey, Brian. My fridge is worryingly low on beer. I'm getting uh, some six packs before I uh, suffer my stepdad's wrath. You know uh, where they are? Uh, you, you know where they are? Hey, thank you for spending time with me yesterday. It was fun. Told you. I told you. Do you think... Uh, did you think about the uh, anime con thing? Will you come with me? Well, I'm a bit freaked out by being surrounded by geeks like you. Whoa! But how could I refuse? Of course I'll go. Uh, okay, uh... Awesome, we'll have a great time. Not everyone will be a geek. Just, you know... Awesome, thank you. We'll have a great time, I promise. One of us. One of us. Uh, did, do you get the reference? The what? Oh, by the way. How high is your tolerance for cringe? Uh, mid to low. Enough to wear a what? A a a a Nyan costume at the convention? I can't show off my, uh... Okay, bro, like, I don't know anything about this. Uh, cosplay without a uh, New Year... Uh, I'm by my side. I didn't understand a word you said, but okay, I guess. And they wanted me to read that. Whatever makes you happy. Brilliant. Not that it was negotiable. Good morning, Mrs. Hayashi. Hello, Brian. Uh, Noelle, uh, we need to talk. Please come to the office. Sure, Mom. Something wrong? I'll wait for you inside. I was getting serious. Nice to see you, Brian. Uh-oh. Uh... 
A ripper man is coming. Uh, did you put the soda on the wrong show? You idiot. I'll be right back. What's wrong, Mom? Please, sit down. Uh-oh. Something happened, bro. It was Faith on the phone. Your father's girlfriend. Oh? He's been feeling unwell these past few weeks, so he went for a checkup. They found a tumor in his lung. <gasps> he got the test results today and... <gasps> Mom? I'm so sorry, honey. Oh, wow. Faith said it's very widespread. He doesn't have much time left. Oh man, no, this can't be happening. Everybody life in this town is just crumbling, bro. It's one thing after another. Hmm. Where the hell are you, Noelle? I bet her name ain't even Noelle, bro. I just made that up. But I'm gonna stick with it, bro. I've been saying it all game. You've been silent for hours. Come on, I need to talk to you. She got something going on in her life, bro. If you was on the outside, you would know that. But yet, you stuck in your room. With underarm, with, with uh, onion bags underneath your underarms. Like, what? Aw, oh, bro, look at her. Hey. I'm sorry I didn't log in earlier. I got terrible news. I'm trying to process it. What happened? It, it's my father. He's very ill. Terminally ill. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so sorry, Noelle. Tomorrow, I'll be flying to Chicago. I need to be by his side. Bro, you have to be, you have to be like, you know, considerate in this situation. Sure, I understand. When are you coming back? I don't know. I want to be with him throughout the process. It may be a few months. <gasps> as much time as he has left. Now you want to be all concerned, bro. I just wanted you to know. <sighs> months? Yeah. No, Noelle, wait. I'll take my next semester online. And Brian will replace me at the shop. That could have been you. I'm sure uh, he'll lend you a hand in whatever way he can. Brian? No. That idiot will leave me to starve. Please, you can't leave. I need you here with me. Bro, Stop. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. But I can't keep going on without you, bro. Fix your life then. You're the only person who cares about me here. Man, you, you. What the freak is all this, Phil? My father is dying. No, I can't lose you, man. Like, I'm, what am I supposed to do? Grow up? F you, Phil. I love you, but you're starting, you're being a selfish asshole. Please, Noelle, man. If you leave, I'll do something crazy, I swear. Oh, yeah, like leave the room? This can't be happening. You're the only thing that keeps me going. Please stay, I promise to do better. To, 
to be the person you want me to be. Do it for yourself first. Like I'm over this guy. Ah! No. <sighs> what the hell, Phil? Emotional blackmail? Seriously? Don't you ever say that stuff again. Damn, this can't be happening. <sighs> Nothing will change, I promise. We'll keep texting each other like we do now. Bill? Bro, like... I, I... Oh! This dude is losing his mind. Phil, remember? Oh, that was his sister that we did the puzzle for. Enough. Don't you dare leave me like this. You're scaring me. Please answer. Are you serious? You still don't remember, do you? It's us. Remember? I can't take them whispers, bro. Hey, are you okay? <laughs> it's so unfair. As if I didn't have enough with dad dying, now Phil is acting like an asshole. I told him I'm leaving and he went nuts. He was really upset. I'm afraid he might do something stupid. Don't say that. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> Moving to Chicago is the right decision, you hear me? You deserve to enjoy some time with your father while you can. Don't let Phil or anyone else ruin this for you. I know, but uh, I'm his only friend. I'm afraid he may have a mental breakdown without my help. Okay, listen, if you really think he might hurt himself, let's call his parents. We need to warn them. No, they'll use it as an excuse to break his door down and force him out. But that w uh, would prevent him from getting hurt, wouldn't it? Very, very, excellent, excellent point, mama. I guess you're right. I'm gonna call them. No answer. They might be out looking for Piper. What are you going to do? I'm going to his place. I need to make sure he's all right. Fine, but I'm going with you. It's late. Look at this dude, bro. Unreal. Phil?
Remember now? Oh my gosh! Whoa! We found her at the bus station, sleeping on a bench. She was waiting for the night bus to Los Angeles. Los Angeles? What the hell were you thinking? You stupid fool! Oh. Jesus Christ, Piper. <laughs> she went up straight upstairs to blast the music. Well, my work here is done. Uh, I'll ask the station to close the incident. And Jacob, don't be too hard on her. My Diane is the same age, and well, what can I tell you? Puberty destroys their little brains. Thanks, Gabe. I appreciate all you've done. All right, all right, bro. Hold on, I, bro. I gotta get something to eat, bro. I'm hungry. I'm starving, bro. Listen, I listen. Let me go get something to eat. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. All right, let's do it. <sighs> yeah, he's mad. He's mad. This game is crazy, dude. Uh, should I bring Piper some soup? She might be starving. No, this has gone too far. We're going to have dinner like a family for once. Go and drag your sister down here. I want her sitting in this chair now. You heard your father. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, I, I, I got. I forgot. I gotta walk on my own. Uh, bathroom. Oh, just keep going. I gotta go get my sister. Oh, that's the office. Okay, it's not the bedroom. I thought it was the bedroom. Is this her room right here? That's my. Her. Piper. I didn't forgot how I got out the room. When did I leave the room? It's me. Open the door. I think father will call the army if you don't come down right now. Piper! Okay, I'm coming in. She's gone, bro. Watch. I bet she's gone. She left again. I told you. Where the hell are you? Now. Turned the stereo up, bro, and she didn't bounce. It smells musty in here. Should I open the window and let some let in some clean air? Maybe you should uh, put on some deodorant, sir. Maybe that's yours. Can I turn this off first? There we go. Okay, there's some other music going on, bro. I wish I could go. To bed and skip dinner. Nah, nah, nah. We ain't doing that. Can can I go in here? <gasps> what? What are you doing? Hey. No way, dude. Yo! Hang on a second. I'll give him one last chance. Oh my goodness, bro. I already know it's about to happen. Nothing. Uh, why don't we ring the doorbell like normal people? Oh my gosh. I can't do anything. It smells like death. I'm thinking it's just pee pee and doo doo in there. Could be something else. Could be could be could be the bodies. 
Hello? Mr. and Mrs. Larner? Oh god, mom. What if they found Phil injured? Uh, what if they found Phil dead? I'm just gonna go with injured. What if they found Phil injured and went to the hospital? Or maybe they went out and Phil's in there all alone, dying? We have to go in. Honey, we can't just break into a house. I know something's wrong, mom. I really do. They must have a spare key hidden somewhere. No, Ellie, like, what you uh -huh. talking about? We're going to end up in jail. Yeah, your mom is the voice of reason. You want me to look? Bar plot? Nope. No hidden key here. Uh, What's this? Clay statue? Anything in there? Hmm. You could be a good hiding place for... Went to lunch, bro. Went, to, got something to eat, and still can't read. What? F it. No time for this, bro. Smash it, <gasps> Noelle. Key in there. Yep. There you go. Aha! I knew it. Grab that up. Grab that up. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, it's locked tight. Oh. We just broke into somebody's house. Well, is it literally, is it breaking and entering if you had the key? Uh, you better stay out. Just in case someone comes, Phil might get upset if he sees you. Bro, just in case somebody comes. We already doing something we ain't supposed to be doing. If you see someone coming out, shout. Uh, do you do this often? Yeah, you better start questioning your daughter. What kind of morals she got going right now? There's flies already going. Phil! What's that smell? Where the hell's the light switch right here? Ain't that it right there? Yep. It's not working. Oh, she can't. Oh my gosh! Yo, this game is on some crazy. They gonna show it? Piper, what are you doing? Hey. Another blackout, really? Rose, where's the flashlight? <gasps> Piper, but wait, or but what? <gasps> Piper, no! <gasps> My God, what have you done? <gasps> D darling? Oh, that's the crack in the ceiling. What? <sighs> Do you remember? The shadows keep asking me over and over. My nightmares are taking shape, and I'm afraid they're, they hide a horrible truth. So that's the reason he locked himself in the room, is because, oh my god! No wonder it was dark in her room, and it was dark outside of the Oh my! No, it's not possible. That's why you should have went with my first initial thought. Get out of the window. Get out of the house. 
I have to go out downstairs. Look for answers. Look at this dude, bro. Father? Mother? Piper? My mind remains a blur. Many images pile up in a disjointed mess. Uh, but deep inside, I know something terrible happened in this house. Hello? Is anyone home? <gasps> wait, 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 what? Phil! What the freak have you done? I... How could you? You're a monster! No, I... She's gonna run away. Father? Mother? Oh no, Piper! Wait a minute, wait a minute! So he never was downstairs when this happened! Stay, stay away from me! I, I didn't! This can't be happening! I don't know what to pick here! Noelle, you have to help me! Please, I shouldn't have said that. I've started remembering. You don't understand, I remember now. It wasn't me. It was... Bro, you might... But, I don't understand. He sees the ghosts, they're ghosts. I've been talking to you all this time. I heard your voices. Oh no. I saw it, Noelle. I saw Piper falling into the abyss and I... I shouldn't have... I should have done... more. Phil. This dude got some, bro, this dude got some crazy games. Noelle, what's going? <gasps> you ain't see all that when you walked in? My God. Mom, call the police quick. Bro, you know they're gonna charge Phil with this, bro. Even though his fingerprints ain't on the weapon, I just got a feeling they're gonna charge him. That boy has a lot to explain. Everything points to the girl murdering her parents. Then she turned the weapon on herself and... What carnage. I can't remember a case like this since the Johnstons. And that was 15 years ago. Did you see the boy's room? What a mess. Who knows how long he's been locked in there. Poor kid. I guess he snapped after witnessing that horror. I don't blame him. Come on, let's finish, uh... Cordoning the, off the area. Uh, it's starting to get crowded here. Did I read Cordoning? Bro, I gotta go back to school, bro, or something. I'm sorry you had to see that, honey. Do you think you could come with me to the station? We need your statement. Of course, whatever you need. Uh, Sheriff? Will he be okay? The doctor says he's in shock and dehydrated, but he'll never recover. 
But he'll, but he'll recover. <laughs> Don't worry about him. He'll be fine. How could I be so, so blind all this time? Don't blame yourself. It's not worth it. Uh, no one knows what people are going through. We each suffer our own hell in silence. That's crazy, bro. I didn't see that happening. I'm still lost though. Well, he he's just been locked up there since it happened and he locked himself up there. They, cause they, oh, they've been decayed for a whole month. They finally showed up at the end and he, he was, okay, all right, all right, I got it, I got it, I got it. And that concludes tonight's episode. Poor Phil. He's had a long road ahead to recover. The light of his existence. Uh, the safe place uh, he was hiding in turned out he was just a figment of his Im imagination. Uh, but on the other hand, isn't it for everyone? Make sure to shut the doors and windows tightly. Take a look inside your closet and under the bed before going to bed. Or to sleep. Uh, you never know what kind of horrors are lurking in the dark. We'll see you soon in the next episode of Midnight Scenes. <laughs> okay, all right, bro. I'm sorry. I, I, you got to finish it. You got to finish it. Wow, dude. Hey, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Even though my reading was atrocious throughout this whole gameplay, I've had my moments, though, but... This was written well, had his ups and downs, and he had pee pee and doo doo in the closet. <laughs>